All right, so Cardi B, huh, hospitalized, had to cancel her whole performance at one music fest. Fans are super worried. And yeah, I get it, especially with like everything else that's been going on. So let's get into it. Like, what do we actually know? What does all this mean? And where do we even begin to guess about what comes next? Well, the hospitalization itself, it happened on October 23rd. And so far, the details are um, pretty vague. Cordy's people, they're calling it a medical emergency. But no one's really saying more than that. Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, privacy and all that. But it does kind of leave the door wide open to, like, mm -hmm. speculate. What we do know is that Cardi went on Instagram and she was really apologetic to her fans about missing the festival. Mm. She said her focus is on getting better. Right. Like she wants to let everyone know she's thinking of them, but without actually, you know, saying too much, she even said she's going to be back better and stronger. But let's be real for a second. Missing one music fest, that's a huge deal, not just professionally, but for all those fans, too. Oh, absolutely. This wasn't like some small local thing. Mm -hmm. We're talking Earth, Wind and Fire. Nelly, Jill Scott, yes. sharing the stage with names like that. That's a career highlight right there. You're telling me. And the organizers, they're scrambling, trying to find someone to fill in at the last minute. Almost impossible this late in the game. But they have been, I got to say, publicly super supportive. Yeah. They're putting Cardi's well-being first, which is great to see. For sure. And keep in mind, this is all happening just weeks after Cardi gave birth to her third child. Right? Yeah. It's been a wild year. Talk about a wild year. We can't forget the whole divorce thing with Offset. It's been super public. Officially, they filed back in September. Irreconcilable differences, that's what they're saying. After seven years of marriage, too. <laughs> and, you know, let's just say things haven't been exactly uh, amicable. No, not exactly a fairy tale ending. Plus, you got to figure, this divorce is more complicated than most, right? Their careers are all tangled up, their businesses... Exactly. To untangle all that while also dealing with the emotional side of things, that's... That's got to be incredibly tough. And don't forget, she's doing all this while adjusting to life with a newborn again. Which makes what she said recently about new beginnings so interesting. She posted about finding renewed power. Seems like she's trying to stay positive despite the, you know, the chaos. I think that's really key here. She's framing this as a time of growth, of change, focusing on what she can control, right? And that message, that really resonates with people. Oh, for sure. You see that in all the support from fans online, people sending well wishes, sharing their own stories. It's real, genuine concern. Yeah, there's a real sense of connection there. It says a lot about how authentic she is, you know? But uh, it gets even more complicated when you remember what happened just a few days before she was hospitalized. You're talking about the CPS thing, right? Exactly. Someone, they called in a fake report about child abuse. And CPS shows up at Cardi's house late at night. Pranks happen. I get it. But this one, this one had real consequences, potentially even traumatic ones. Yeah. And Cardi's reaction, it was raw. You know, yeah. she went live on Instagram and you could just hear the anger in her voice, the feeling of violation. It was a reminder that, yeah, she's a celebrity, but she's also a mother and she's fiercely protective of her kids. I mean, anyone would be upset in that situation, right? But it's especially jarring considering the custody battle she's going through with Offset. Absolutely. Yeah. And that just adds, like, another layer of stress on top of everything else. Suddenly the hospitalization doesn't seem so out of the blue, does it? Not really. It's hard to ignore the effect of all these things happening at once. You know, new baby, the divorce drama, the CPS scare, and now this. It's a lot of pressure for anyone to handle. It really puts things into perspective. It does. And while we don't know exactly what's going on with her health, I think it's safe to say that her priority right now needs to be taking care of herself. This break from performing, even if it wasn't planned, it might be exactly what she needs. It makes you wonder, though, doesn't it? What will this break mean for her in the long run? Will she be back to her old self quickly? Or could this be like a turning point that leads to some bigger changes? Those are the questions we're going to be exploring next. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. You know, it's crazy to think how this whole hospitalization could like change Cardi's whole career. You know, like she's been on top for so long, but this just feels different. It really does. Yeah. She's so ambitious, but now it's like she's at a crossroads or something. Totally. Three kids, a huge divorce. And now this health stuff on top of it all that's a lot to deal with even for someone like cardi with all her you know energy it makes you think maybe this forced break is a good thing in disguise like yeah. maybe she needed this to figure out what's really important that's a good point you see this a lot with artists actually they go super hard put out tons of stuff and then boom they got to step back it's like this cycle of you know create 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 and then renew recharge yeah and we can't forget the pressure that comes with being cardi b right 
yeah. new music all the time. The media is always watching. She's got to stay on top. That's got to wear you down. Absolutely. And we know Cardi's been open about her mental health before, too. Anxiety, depression, all that stuff. She's talked about it. She's shown how the fame, it can have a dark side, too. Which is why this whole thing feels so, I don't know, delicate. We know she's got these vulnerabilities and all this stuff happening at once. It could make things worse. It's a real worry, yeah. But there's also something good about it, too, right? By being so open, she's built this really strong connection with her fans. Oh, totally. It's like her being so honest, so real. That's what makes people relate to her. They see themselves in her struggles, and they feel less alone. It's powerful, you know? It yeah. shows that even someone like Cardi, who seems to have it all, they face real problems, too, just like everyone else. And it shows how we're finally starting to talk about mental health more openly. I think that's super important, especially in hip-hop. For so long, being vulnerable was seen as a weakness. Cardi's changing that, showing a different kind of strength. She's like leading the way for other artists. They can be more open, more themselves, and that's a legacy right there. Makes you wonder how all this will change her music. Will it sound different? Like, more introspective? I think it has to, right? She's always used music to talk about her life, her feelings, to process things, to tell her truth. And that's what makes it so good, so real, so Cardi B. Exactly. And at this point in her career, she's earned the right to do whatever she wants, to try new things, take risks, you know? She's already made it. That's why this is all so interesting. She's not some up-and-comer trying to prove anything. She's Cardi B. She can do whatever she wants. So the question is, what will that be? What will Cardi B 2.0 look like? Will she be even bolder? Or will we see a softer, more vulnerable side? Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But I know one thing. She'll keep doing things her way. She'll keep everyone talking and keep pushing those boundaries. Yeah, for sure. This might be a turning point, but it's not the end. It's a new chapter, and I'm excited to see what happens next. Me too. Yeah. But while we wait for updates on how she's doing, we should zoom out a bit. What do you mean? Well, Cardi's situation, it makes you think about the bigger picture of fame, right? especially in this crazy digital age. Ah, I see what you're saying. We talked about the bad stuff already, all the online hate and the constant pressure. Right, but there's good stuff too, isn't there? Of course. Her platform lets her talk to millions of people directly. She can tell her own story, build her own brand. It's bigger than just music. It's like fame is a double-edged sword. Exactly. It can build you up or tear you down. It's all about how you use it. It's a good reminder that behind all the headlines and Instagram posts, mm. there are real people with real lives, you know? So true. And we got to remember that, to be thoughtful, critical, but also empathetic. I think that's a perfect way to put it. Oh, actually, wait. There's one more thing we got to talk about before we wrap up. We can't forget about what this means for the music industry itself. Oh, yeah, you're right. What happens when... Someone like Cardi B has to take a step back like this. What about her albums, her partnerships, all the people who depend on her success? We've seen this happen before, and it can cause a lot of chaos. Contracts get messed up, release dates get pushed back, and it affects a lot of people, their jobs, their livelihoods. It's a reminder that the music industry, as glamorous as it seems, it's still a business at the end of the day. Totally. It's a balancing act. You know, you got to support the artist, but also deal with the reality of this demanding industry. It'll be interesting to see how Cardi's team handles all this in the next few months. This is new territory for her. And what she does could change how other artists deal with these kinds of things in the future. It could even change how the whole industry thinks about artist contracts and mental health support. Now, that's something to think about. Maybe this whole difficult situation will lead to some positive changes down the road. Maybe. Who knows? We'll just have to see. Well, speaking of waiting and seeing, I think we've covered a lot today. Ready to wrap up this deep dive? Yeah, I think we've hit all the important stuff. Awesome. Let's get to the outro then. <laughs> okay, so, like, where do we go from here? We know Cardi's trying to get better. But what about the bigger picture? You know, her career, her family, all that. That's the big question, isn't it? This feels like a, a real turning point for her in every way. It does, yeah. You mentioned that before. Yeah. About it being a turning point. Like, what kind of changes are we talking about? Well, it's hard to say for sure, but maybe this is what she needs to, like, reevaluate things, you know? Step back from all the craziness, focus on smaller stuff, or maybe even just, like, being a mom. That wouldn't surprise me. She's always talking about how much family means to her. Yeah. And three kids. That's a lot to handle on its own. Exactly. This time away, it could be just what she needs to, like, recharge, get back in touch with what really matters. But let's be real. She's not going to just disappear, yeah. right? 
Cardi B, she's made for the spotlight. Oh, totally. She needs that energy, that connection with her fans. But maybe when she comes back, it'll be with a different kind of energy. How do you mean? Well, think about everything she's going through right now. The divorce, the new baby, her health. These things change you, you know? They change your whole perspective. So you're thinking, like, a new creative direction. Maybe she'll start writing about more serious stuff. It's definitely possible. Her music has always been about her life, what she's going through. It wouldn't be a surprise if she starts exploring all this in her songs. I'd love to hear what that sounds like. Mm -hmm. we, we know she's not afraid to experiment, to push the envelope. Exactly. And she's at that point where she can do whatever she wants, you know? She's already a huge star. She doesn't have to prove anything anymore. That's what makes this whole thing so interesting. It's not like she's trying to make it big. She already has. <laughs> so what's next? What will Cardi B do? It's like, what will Cardi B 2.0 be like? Will she be that same bold, in-your-face Cardi? Or will we see a new side of her, something more, I don't know, introspective? We'll just have to wait and see. But I know one thing. She'll keep doing things her way. She'll keep surprising us, keep us talking. For sure. And, you know, this is just the beginning. We'll be here to break it all down as it happens. Absolutely. So for everyone listening, stay tuned. This story's far from over. But for now... Let's send Cardi all our best wishes for a speedy recovery. Yes, absolutely. We're all rooting for you, Cardi. And that's it for this deep dive, everyone. Thanks for listening. Thanks for having me, Kurt.